Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. Um, I am in fiber heaven right now. We are at Custom Woolen Mills here in Linden, Alberta and I am gloriously surrounded by wool and yarn and it's so wonderful. It sounds like the machines are getting started back up so we're gonna try to show you some of them actually working away. I'm no expert, but this is the washing station and basically the wool goes through here super gently and it gets rid of any like dirt and manure and all that kind of stuff. And it goes really nice and slowly so it doesn't felt together. And I've told you guys that before about how you don't want to handle wool too much because it'll start to felt. So that's what's happening here and that's kind of like the first step in the process. They make socks here. Okay. And those are all bags of socks. So I think literally this thing is actually knitting socks. That is so cool. So this is basically a giant wool carter. So it kind of brushes out the wool and forms like a wool, a loose web um, to get it ready for spinning. And so they have three different ones um, prep preparing the wool for three different types of yarn. from our trip um, it was really cool going to that mill and we're really hoping to go back and do like a full in-depth tour where you can see every single machine actually working so let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing the whole process but I wanted to show you what yarns I ended up picking up for myself um, from custom woolen mills and I'm so excited to show you all right so let's talk about the coolest one first I mean, I all I really love them all, but this line of yarn is called their Field and Forage yarn, and I just think it's such a cool idea because they literally grow um, a bunch of natural dyes and then they use them to dye. So this one is dyed with matter root, and it's like this beautiful rose pink color. I absolutely love it. And then this one is dyed with avocado. So I think this is really beautiful. It's like a caramel rust, but more on the brown side kind of color. Then I got their single strand chunky, kind of like pencil roving yarn. And this one is also naturally dyed. This one doesn't tell me which plants um, were used to dye this, but it is a 
beautiful like perfect gold color and I absolutely love this so their wools aren't merino so if you're used to working with merino this is gonna feel a little bit different it's a little bit rougher um, and I haven't obviously woven with these yet but I definitely am excited to do so and I will show you when I do I really love weaving with this kind of yarn like a chunkier one I love that it's single ply as well this goes so well with like a diamond twill pattern and just really stands out the last two I got were these six ply undyed yarns and this is a rug yarn it just by touching it you can tell that it's just like really tough um, and would really stand up well in a rug but I thought once again it is a chunkier yarn so I thought it would work really well in a woven wall hanging also so I got this natural gray color and also white and then I've woven with this type of yarn from other places before but this is what they're calling their prairie wool um, this one again is undyed and this is the yarn that was being made in this video so if you remember seeing those huge long pieces of wool this is what they were creating that day and this is basically a four or sorry not four ply how many plies do we got here six strand um, unspun yarn so it's kind of like a cross between roving and yarn essentially but it is unspun so I will just show you like it pulls apart very very easily so when you are weaving with this you have to kind of be gentle with it because it's gonna pull apart fairly easily but just with roving it's the same where if you put your fingers really close it's not gonna pull apart it's when you kind of spread out your hands a little bit that it just starts to pull away um, but I also love this kind of yarn I've used it many times before um, if you guys remember my mustard and black and white stripe woven while hanging I used a black version of this in it but I I absolutely love this I just think the color is so beautiful too it's always nice to find different shades of natural wool so I think all of these together in a weaving are gonna be so gorgeous and I'm just so excited that we were able to go to the mill all right so that was kind of our mini tour giving you a little bit of a taste of what it's like at a wool mill and yeah that was so cool like I was legitimately in fiber heaven if you've ever seen the shot of me um, in the room with just all the different yarns it was just like it's really cool to actually see the process and meet people who've been doing it for many many years um, and that the fact that they're sourcing all their wool very locally so I think there's just three provinces here in Canada that they collect wool from and make into all these different beautiful yarns um, but I just can't stop saying it it was just a really neat um, experience so definitely again let me know in the comments below if you would like to at some point see a full-blown tuber I would love to go back next summer when they actually have their natural dye garden in full bloom so that we can really see the whole process from sort of collecting those um, plants and turning them into dyes and so forth I think that would be really cool to see it is a lot of work um, and so it's it's sometimes nice to break down the process so you really understand like what goes into making a skein of yarn if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one I mean you could like just leave this as is and it's just like it's just like a nice little pillow Oh my gosh, I love wool. <laughs>